Spurs are now Memphis, where they'll take on the Grizzlies tonight in an NBA play-in game. A winner moves on while the loser is done for the season. Memphis won the regular season series two games to one, with the visitor winning each time. These teams have changed a bit since they last met in early February. LaMarcus Aldridge is no longer in the NBA. Derek White is out with an injury, and Jaron Jackson Jr. is back for the Grizzlies after missing most of the season with a knee injury. He has 11 games under his belt and is playing good ball heading into the play-in contest. Both sides know they must play 48 minutes with the fewest mistakes to advance. Everything counts. Uh, you can't take no plays off. Uh, you got to compete at a high level for, you know, 48 minutes. You got to be ready to go. You know, Pop's going to have a short leash because uh, he understands what's at stake. Uh, uh, I just know it's going to be intense. It's going to be everybody's going to be locked in. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's one of those games. Do or die, win, go home. That's what you play for. That's what we love. We love this type of game. Um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. You know, it's just, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a gritty game. And if you're not built for these type of games, it will show. Uh, you got to be ready to go. We have two playing games tonight. The Warriors and Lakers will play at 9. Grizzlies will host the Spurs at 6.30. And Memphis is favored by 4. The winner of 9-10 plays the loser of 7-8 for the 8th and final playoff spot in the West. Christina Camacho is named the new head girls basketball coach at Judson High School. She replaces Trevor Corrales, who retired from coaching to become the school district's new athletic director after Mike Miller decided to retire. Christina goes to Judson High School from Veterans Memorial, where she led the Patriots to the state finals twice in Class 4A and 5A, and this move allows her to stay in the district as the new head coach of the Judson Rockets. I know there's a lot of pressure that's going to be, you know, expected. Um, but I, I just, uh, I like doing new things that are going to challenge me. And um, rather than retire and just not do anything, I, I still, I mean, I keep saying I, I love what I do. And I love this community. I love Jetson ISD. Turning to AA baseball, the Mission's hosting their first home game since 2019 last night, opening up with the Frisco Rough Riders in a six-game series. Second inning, Mission's Juan Fernandez blasts this one to left. It looks like it's going to get out of here, but Josh Stowers makes a leaping grab for the out, but crashes down into the wall. He was shaken up a bit and needed a little help leaving the field. Fifth inning, Mission's pitcher Caleb Bosley gets the strikeout. He threw five innings of no-hit ball. The no-hitter continued into the seventh for the missions until it's broken up right there by Dios Bell Arias with the single to short right. Still in the seventh, Frisco with runners at third and second. When the missions, Henry Henry gets a little wild with that ball and it's in the dirt. That allows one run to score the only run of the game and Frisco wins 1-0. That poor guy smacking up against the wall. That had to hurt. I know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Larry, thanks. You're it is a kind of dark day out there, but they're going to brighten things up at SA Live. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yeah. indeed. In fact, we're going to quack you up. Yep. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, I was just trying to figure out, how do you call a duck? Here, ducky, ducky. Do you, do you know the... I know. Yes. All right. So, so this this mobile petting zoo can come to you. And Amanda Winter with Once in a Wild is here with some of the critters that you can have at your very own petting zoo there at home. <laughs> ducks, but, giant rabbits. Yep. And these and these ducks are huge, but you see ducks at parks, right? right. And you take bread and feed them, right, Amanda? Yeah, some people do that, but I don't recommend feeding ducks bread. It's actually Why? really bad for their growth and development and can even give them something called angel wing, which oh, can really? pretty much uh, kind of deform their wings. So it's not good for them. I had no idea. I, I didn't either. You always kind of throw, you know, the leftover little hot dog bun or something to the <laughs> right. ducks. Apparently, don't do that. Okay. okay. Well, we are going <laughs> to see a whole bunch of really, really cool animals here. And again, this whole petting zoo can come to your backyard. And Jen is celebrating the Spurs. Tell us how. And what's awesome is they combine modern technology with old world craftsmanship. As you can see, Dom is working on one right there. A lot of love that goes into these. And we're gonna tell you how much time you have to put these orders in, because it's not that long. So you wanna get these orders in, that's coming up. Stay with us. And 
Uh -huh. Notice how it's yes. got that little La Fiesta yes. colors on it, yeah. which spurs old uniforms. Question is. So, do you like the Spurs silver and black better or the Fiesta colors? Let hmm. us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. And that was the question. In. The 70s shorts they used to wear, or the longer, never mind. Anyway, so. Hey, you have uh, the 70s shorts. <laughs> if you want to try something really good and refreshing, a local company is joining us, Southside Craft Soda, and we're going to be making some really great kid-friendly cocktails with some of their wonderful drinks and a really special flavor in the root beer, which just came out. And cheese is one of those things that, you know, just makes every dish better. An award-winning local chef takes a classic recipe to the next level with a special type of cheese. You have met her before. Mm -hmm. She is the one that can make Texas trash in a crock pot. Yes. yes, we've had it. It is delicious. That and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. So stick around. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Okay, one final look at the radar. Some new flash flood warnings just coming out that include Goliad County and then uh, over towards Victoria and down to the coast. Port Aransas now all under flash flood warnings. Very heavy rain there. This is going to go until 4 p.m. here in San Antonio. Things stay relatively dry, just cloudy, mostly cloudy skies. We'll see temperatures top out in the low 70s today. A cool day, guys. Thank you, Justin. We'll keep an eye on it. You know what they say, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's probably... A, a duck. duck, and it's good weather for a duck. And that's a good thing because they've got ducks down at SA Live. It starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, yeah. Hello and happy Wednesday. And go Spurs go! We're rooting for our team as they fight to stay in the playoff race. Yes, indeed. They are in Memphis tonight. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, while the Spurs are fighting to stay alive in the playoffs, there's a new way you can show your support. A brand new line of Spurs products have just been released, and we're about to share them with you in just a few minutes. Yes, perfect for the Spurs fan or even Fathers Day. We'll tell about that in just a couple of minutes. But we go from the basketball court to the farm and our first guest loves connecting with people and connecting people to animals face to face with her mobile zoo and you can meet these god animals that you've never seen before or learn a lot of things like we did about ducks about some of the most common animals around here amanda winter founder of once in a wild zoo joins us with a petting zoo experience and it's something that she can bring to you welcome welcome good thank to you see you so again much. awesome thank you for having me this again. is so cool having all these animals i'm glad you like it <laughs> and this this is just an example of what you can bring to someone's home for yep. a party for an event correct okay. we can bring uh basically a mini petting zoo to your next event or a special birthday party or anything at all <laughs> well let's start with this guy over here and sure. this is about the biggest rabbit i think i've ever seen <laughs> yes that's sandor the flemish giant rabbit the second largest rabbit breed in the world and how big will he get or is he full grown he's thankfully done growing he's about 22 pounds and two years old <laughs> and he's just very calm like any other rabbit. now would he make a good pet I believe so. So rabbits are one of the few type of pets that I actually recommend for some families. As long as you do your research and take proper care of them, they are a domestic animal. So they're actually suited for pets for some people. And for folks who have, you know, a rabbit, their diet is important, right? As far as maintaining, say, like their teeth, which keep growing, right? Absolutely. So rabbits like rodents actually have ever growing incisor teeth that need to be maintained. So feeding them the proper diet of Timothy hay and some other items too, and giving them chewing wood items too for enrichment can actually help to maintain their teeth just fine. Now, what about putting them in, you know, building a nice little rabbit pen and all that? Is that a good idea for that or not? That's a great question, Mike. So most people do keep their rabbits in a hutch or a small kind of containment of some sort. We have actually recommend giving your rabbit either free roam in your house inside or their own bedroom with a litter box. <laughs> they can be litter box trained? Absolutely they can. It's actually very easy. So so do those ears help them hear yes. any better than you would think? <laughs> Absolutely. Rabbits are known for their big giant ears, right? And they can actually hear about two miles away from their own body. 
Well, letting a rabbit run around your house, let's get back to that. It seems like they're, <laughs> with those teeth, they'd like to chew on stuff, though, like your furniture. Yes, that is definitely um, sometimes an issue, but as long as you give them other items to chew, like dogs, um, have toys and things like that, they usually avoid those items. And you can rabbit proof your room or home. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, who have you got there that you're holding? <laughs> so, this in my hand here is a lizard, and his name is Eddie. He's Eddie the Bearded Dragon. Bearded dragons are actually found in Australia and living natively, and they are really awesome, very calm lizards. Lizards. Oh my gosh, and that's about as big as he's going to get, right? Correct. So Eddie's a great candidate for um, this type of petting experience or animal therapy even because he sits very still and he doesn't get much bigger than this. Do they yeah. change color? They can change color a little bit. They change color for communication, also their mood. They're kind of like a living mood ring a little bit. And they can also change color to help them thermoregulate or warm or cool their bodies. How's he feeling right now? I think he feels very relaxed. Okay. <laughs> and does he make a good pet? I would recommend bearded dragons for the right family, just like with the rabbit. It okay. is an exotic animal. You have to keep a lot of things in mind. They cannot be kept in a big bedroom like a rabbit can with a litter box. They wouldn't be able to be litter box trained, but they can have their own containment like a large a terrarium or something like that. Oh, okay. All right. So the the <laughs> loudest of, you know, <laughs> members of this party that we have right here are these two. Yes. These two guys. Yes, we have our big ducks. We don't just have large rabbits, we also have large ducks as well. This is Goncito and Lucas, the Pekin ducks. <laughs> and so they weigh about how much? Well, this um, uh, breed of duck uh -huh. uh, is derived from the mallard duck, but they're so big, they can actually get up to 12 pounds for some of the larger varieties. These guys weigh about eight pounds. <laughs> and you said all domestic ducks are from thousands of years ago, descended from mallards. Correct. This is one of the oldest breed of duck from China, actually. A lot of duck breeds come from Asia. Um, and these guys are about a 2,000 year old or so breed, but they are derived from the mallard duck. And most breeds of duck are derived from mallards. And when folks see ducks at parks or lakes, and you know, they tend to kind of throw them some food, usually bread, if you missed it earlier, you say, no, don't don't give them bread, right? Why? Yeah, ducks are actually omnivores, so they can eat all sorts of things, but they cannot and should not eat bread. They probably can eat it, right? Well, <laughs> but it's actually really bad for their growth and development and feathers. So what should people take to the, the park? You can actually take frozen peas and thaw them, or even like canned peas that don't have additives in them, mm -hmm. um, and feed peas instead. It's a great duck treat. Oh. <laughs> and, and how can you tell between, like, if they're a boy or a girl? Great question. So with some breeds of duck and some species, the boys, also known as drakes, drakes have a curl on their tail. A little cute little curl on the end of their tail on their hind end. Um, it's called a drake curl, which means they're boys. And you <laughs> asked for, when they were little, you wanted male ducks because? They're a little quieter. So the females are louder. I know, I know, they're louder. But that's because they can call their babies from long distances and find them. <laughs> she said it, not me. <laughs> and and they're, they're just louder. always saying they're right. So, yes. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Next is this little guy I've got here. Yeah, that's Shelton John. <laughs> Shelton John, I love the name. Shelton John. <laughs> He's a red-footed tortoise. <laughs> So, now, how big will he get? Mm -hmm. So, Shelton's species is the red-footed tortoise, and I believe the record was like 25 pounds, but that's super rare for this uh, species of tortoise. They usually reach around 15 to 20 pounds, and they're not a huge tortoise by any means. They're medium-sized. And unlike turtles, they can't swim. No, they cannot swim. They would sink, so please don't let him swim in the deep end. <laughs> now, as kids, we always got the, the little turtles in the yes. you know the aquarium and all that mm -hmm. uh different whole different taking you know as far as care and feeding and everything with Absolutely. these this is more difficult right so the the tortoises are land dwelling they're actually herbivores they're too slow to catch other animals so they're not carnivores are they and they're not omnivores either they're herbivores they eat mostly grass and plants as far as their care they are both pretty advanced but different because you have the aquatic factor like a fish for the aquatic okay. ones yeah good pet I wouldn't say necessarily an easy pet, but they are awfully sweet and they're great for an experience like this. You said they're messy too, right? Very messy. Uh, tortoises and turtles are some of the messiest reptiles by far. They have a high fiber diet, if you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> And next, and uh, your last guinea pig. but not least, yes, this is Iggy, our guinea pig. He's actually Who the only your returner. Hair? <laughs> My goodness, moi. My goodness, what conditioner? Seriously, this fantastic. Is this soft? He's a Peruvian this, guinea pig. These are luscious locks. Oh my yes. God, Iggy. Yes. Not every guinea pig has long hair, but the Peruvians like him have long, straight. 
beautiful hair that continuously grows, so he does need haircuts, trims, regular bath, and conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying he kind of looks like either a, you know, like a hippie, yeah. or he'd be like a really cool surfer dude. Something, you know? yeah. Well, his name is Iggy Pop. <laughs> Iggy Pop. There you go. There you go. So, okay. And you've got about how many different species? Mm -hmm. um, as far as species, we have about 45 different species, but we have over 70 individual animals. And any of those species can come to some of the petting zoos? Correct. So you can have a educational animal experience presentation style, or you can have a petting zoo like this that we brought to you today, and of course virtual as well. So if I wanted to have a petting zoo, oh look at the little hedgehog, hedgehog. I know. with the Santa Claus cap That's on. That's another uh, option that you can actually select. So <laughs> if you want to have a petting zoo and your child likes, you know, bunnies and ducks and something else, mm -hmm. is there kind of like a shopping list and say, I want this to come and this and this? Absolutely. Once we contact you, we'll actually provide our entire list or menu of options and you can actually select up to eight animals per hour that you book us. It's a great <laughs> idea. And different programs? Absolutely. Schools, birthday parties, nursing homes, animal therapy, just for fun. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very good. Well, if you'd like All more right. information on Once in a Wild Zoo, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, basketball lovers, listen up. The San Antonio Spurs have teamed up with Fair Goods for a limited edition of leather goods and apparel inspired by Fiesta Colors. Yes, indeed. They've created wallets, backpacks, and Apple watch bands, and a whole lot more. And our Jen Tobias Trusky is there right now. So, hey, Jen, what's the favorite item so far? Yes, can you tell I love the Fiesta, the Spurs Fiesta colors I tried to coordinate today. You know, you gotta try. But yes, I'm here and you guys are in for a treat because we're getting a sneak peek at the warehouse, Bear Goods here, a family owned business. And I have Guy Rubio joining me with these amazing products. Like you said to me earlier, yes. what else do you have to say? It's Spurs, it's leather wallets, and you, you know, we're, we're Spurs fans. We want to order right. these. So let's talk about what we have here. Yeah, well, welcome to the Bear Goods workshop. Uh, so this is our uh, third partnership with the Spurs uh, where we're focusing on our handcrafted leather goods and fusing that with some of the Spurs uh, Spurs energy so we've got these Fiesta inspired wallets with some of the uh, confetti designs on there uh, let me give you a little look here at the inside we've got the classic uh, Spurs Fiesta colors here this is all perforated uh, edge work uh, some design work and it's all handcrafted here in the workshop. We hand stitch everything. Uh, so it's meant to last and it's meant to look good as it wears. Made so. with love in San Antonio. And you told me earlier as it ages, it, it's like it's, it weathers. How did you say that to me? Yeah, like it, it just... only gets better with age, there you right? Go. <laughs> so <laughs> you said there's <laughs> a, a patina process. That's where the leather kind of darkens as it gets burnished, mm -hmm. as it wears, and uh, it tells so your story. I love this. We've got coasters and we have so many other things. Let's talk about what else you have here, Guy. Definitely. So we've got one of the uh, really popular items so far has been uh, the vertical wallet. So this one is oh, cool. probably our, our best selling wallet here. Uh, it's great as a front pocket wallet or rear pocket wallet, kind of a more minimalistic approach to it. Mm -hmm. We also have something very special, an heirloom style product, yes. but it is a solid copper flask, leather wrapped, hand stitched, and then it's got the uh, Spurs insignia there. Uh, so this is definitely something that uh, will make its way through the family generation oh, after yeah. generation. Uh, we've got this special <laughs> graphic here, a little Spurs bear goods action going on. This has been very, very popular. Uh, showing the love for the Spurs and Bear Goods. And then we've got, uh, we've got the smaller accessory stuff for sure. We also have uh, very special two carry products here. This is our messenger bag with waxed, uh, thick wax canvas and then uh, also constructed with harness leather. So this is definitely made to last It'll be around for a long time. Got your logo. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> so in case the Spurs Fiesta uh, colors wasn't enough, we definitely have that mm. luggage tag there. Uh, we also have a backpack version. Very nice. Very good. I think I want all of these things. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Definitely. And then we have, uh, for the businessman or woman, we have a executive portfolio here. Mm -hmm. uh, 
fit an iPad, business cards, pen slot, but it's got uh, all the details there for the Spurs fans. And then we've got some smaller leather accessory type stuff, bracelets, coasters, and then something very special as well. This is a cap called the Ebbets cap made by a uh, company in Seattle, Washington. They're uh, very, very well known for making these historic throwback caps. We've got our flying cactus logo here embroidered nice. with the Fiesta colors, uh, Spurs logo there. So this has also been very popular. Now, and how long, how much time do people have to get these orders in? Because obviously these are, I mean, if you're a Spurs fan, this is something that you want. But so you said there's high demand and how, high much, demand. Time, how much time do they have? Yes, definitely. So we're, we're taking orders through the end of the week. Okay. Yeah. Through the end of and the week. And it's all available on our website, beargoods.com. Which wasn't the case last time, right? That's right. The last yeah. Time you partnered, take advantage but, but while take advantage you can order it online. Now, I know... We are finishing up with this first sneak peek, uh, but if you look this way, we're gonna get to go over there and see how much detail goes into this, how much work and love goes into it. I may even give it a try, uh, but for now, I hope you enjoyed seeing these gorgeous items. Thank you, Guy. We're Thank gonna you. come back out here and show you a little bit more behind the scenes. Fiona, Mike, which one should I get, huh? I oh my gosh, it's so hard to choose. <laughs> but thank you, we're gonna check in with you in a bit. I can't wait to see what she's gonna make. I know. So that brings up the question because yeah. you saw some of the yeah. Fiesta colors on there. Mm -hmm. What do you like best? The current uniforms, just the black and gray, right. or the old ones? Amanda's nodding your head. You like the current ones better. Current black ones and like gray. a little yes. both. Uh, a little both. <laughs> okay. I like black and gray. All right. Yeah. I think it's a I, 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 I know. Yeah. I kind of like both. Can I throw both? Can it be all of it? I kind of like. Anyway, let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see how that shakes down. All right. Still ahead on the show. Cheese is one of those things that just makes every dish better. We're going to show you a classic recipe taken to the next level with a special type of cheese. Wait till you see the secret ingredient. But first, we're making summer slow soda slushies. Easy for me to say. These fun recipes will be the perfect way to cool you off and the family during the hot summer months. And they all have a San Antonio twist. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it takes a San Antonio company to know how to cool you off for the South Texas summer, and these fun summer slushies were all created with craft sodas that were made right here in SA. I can't wait to taste them. Marcy Anguiano, right? Yes, I got absolutely. it right. <laughs> Ambassador from Southside Craft Soda is here with some summer soda slushy recipes and more alliteration today and <laughs> yeah. tell us on some of the latest flavors too. These look delicious. Oh, they absolutely are, Mike. I mean, what's great about these is that they're fun, they're easy, mm -hmm. and the kids love them. And it really is for a general audience. And we're excited to show you what we have today. So, so for the kids, yes. we're starting with a mocktail version a mock of the hurricane, right? Ooh, yes. So <laughs> this is called what? This is called the summer storm. So we're gonna take some passion fruit. Okay. Yeah, and what we love about passion fruit is that like it's smooth and it's sweet, and then we're gonna add some pineapple and some orange juice in there. So you're sneaking the, the fruit juices in on the kids oh, too. Oh, I know, it? right? So they can get their vitamins without them knowing. <laughs> and then we got some coconut cream and some Whoa. grenadine. There we go. And then we're just gonna mm. mix that all together to make a really nice concoction. And, and there then, are different versions of this drink, correct. right? Before and then we you're do gonna the final add, touch. Sure, and then you're gonna add one limoncito, now, if you want to make it adult friendly, I mean, you can go ahead and get some rum on there and any other alcoholic drink that you like. So your add. lemon lime soda, how is it different and better than other lemon lime this sodas? This one is different and better because it's made with real um, lime and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. It's um, bold on the South Texas flavors. And what's great about it is that it makes it easier. So you don't have to chop limes, you don't have to chop lemons, it's all inside the bottle. And it adds like that bubbly Thank and that you. nice little crisp taste afterwards as well. And we're doing a slushy version so we don't have to mess with yeah. blenders right now. But you can do it in a blender too and make it more of a... Oh, uh, you can. Yeah. You can make it as snowy as you want. Um, depending on how you like your ice chopped, you could just pour Ooh. it over on the rocks. Yeah, you get that little tang in there with the limoncito. All I need now is a pool and stand between right. my toes. Oh, yeah. I know. And this is a mocktail, so <laughs> mm -hmm. you can chug it. It's a mocktail, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Oh, and you can find um, the ingredients over there at your local grocer. So we're at about 180 HEV, so you can go pick up Limoncito and Texacola and all the other stuff you need to make these great mocktails. All right, what am I making now, sangria? Yes, you're gonna make a sangria. And then what that is, is you wanna take some red and white grape juice, mm -hmm. add it in there, and then you're gonna take one Texacola. And you're gonna add them in there. And what's great about Texacola is that it has your honey, pure cane sugar. Um, it gives it that nice, like citrusy um, flavor that we like when we see our sangrias because we're all from Texas, and that's what we love here. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna mix it together, and then okay. you're gonna get a cute little cup over there and just pour some over the ice. So, what makes your sodas different? What makes our sodas different is that we're really conscientious on Fiona. bold South Texas flavors. Um, really highlighting that using mostly natural ingredients that you find in our state. So the citrus is there. Oh, okay. um, we use the honey as sweetener. Um, so it's not that refined sugar that you get. And you also get all of those little nice vitamins Ooh. from the juice. Maybe just a little bit, but it's still there. Ooh. That's right. Real. Yeah, that's, that's good really too. good. And then to make it adult again, you would add some red wine mm -hmm. or, or anything else that you choose um, to, to give it that little boost for the adults of so the summer. while we're double fisting with yeah. these, you've got um, a twist on a martini. I do. I have here a flotini. And what this is, this is our root bear. We just came out with it. You can find it at local bodegas like Wong's or Jefferson's. So you take one root bear, you add it in here, and then you're going to do a coconut, I'm sorry, a condensed sweetened milk. About a fourth cup. You're just going to add that in there as well. It's a little bit sticky, so don't be afraid to use your spoon and just kind of scrape it, it on in, in there. there. Yeah. And what's great about this is you'll know it's ready, kind of like when you add cream to your coffee. You just keep mixing and mixing until it lifts that brown out of there a little bit and you get a nice little bit of a, a put light that in a coffee. Nice martini glass yeah. Line with yeah. And then you can even you make it even yeah. into a more of a dessert with some add ice cream. Exactly. To it. You can add ice cream. Um, you can pour and it into a shaker. Once again, you can find these at H E B and then also you can order directly from you and they will deliver. You want that a couple of correct. cases? It's coming right to your door. True. So SouthsideCraftSoda.com, you can find all of these mocktail recipes on our website. Put in the order for the cases for your next summer fiesta, and then we'll come and deliver it to you. Mm, delicious. Right. You just take this, you pour it over ice. And it's good to go. So maybe get some fun and, and creative mm -hmm. with the chocolate syrup, also good for the kiddos. They can make some little I designs. Hate to, I hate to interrupt, yeah. but <laughs> if you'd like more information on a Southside Craft Soda, just go to our website, salive.com, and there is a link, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank yes. you, these are delicious, appreciate awesome. it. Awesome, thanks for having us. Still ahead on the show, don't let Father's Day sneak up on you. We're back at Bear Goods with some great gift ideas for dear old dad. And next on SA Live, don't spend another summer struggling with glasses or contacts. How you can get 2020 vision in just seconds. It's a deal you don't want to pass up. Keep it here. Well, if you've been going back and forth lately, trying to decide whether to finally get rid of your glasses and contacts and get LASIK, now is a great time to do it. Here to tell us how you can save big on Z LASIK before summer is Richard Doinoff, Operations Manager at Manrique Custom Vision. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing today, Fiona? Doing well. All right, let's tell folks about the benefits of getting LASIK before summer. Um, you know, it's always a great time to get Z-LASIK with Dr. Manrique, but now, you know, you're going to go to the beach, you're going to have the sand blowing in your eyes, contacts, glasses fogging up still, you got the mask thing going on, there's so many things, but the main thing is, it's just called visual freedom. I mean, you can get out and do all your normal activities that you take for granted with glasses and contacts and get rid of them and do them without it and make your life a lot easier. So what's the difference between LASIK and Z-LASIK? Uh, there's only, there's Z-LASIK is just a machine that actually does the first step of the procedure. It's totally blade and pain free. Um, there's only a few in the United States that actually have the machine we have though, which is a Z4 laser. In our opinion, it's at least invasive. So basically it only takes a few seconds per eye to make you see correctly. So just a few seconds per eye. So that's how long the procedure takes. It's that quick. Yeah, it's that quick. Um, 
once you get up off of the laser, actually, it's it's sort of weird. People look across the room because we're taking pictures of face, you know, put them on Facebook. They see the clock immediately and who's ever taken a picture. And the first thing usually I had of somebody's mouth is why did I wait so long and there was nothing to it. What's the recovery time? You go and take a, a quick nap, usually about four to six hours. Um, if there's going to be any irritation, just to educate a little bit, it's going to happen during that time and you'll sleep through it. Uh, you wake up and 99.9% .9 of the time you're, you're done with it at that point. You just follow the drop instructions that we give you and you're done. So for folks considering it right now, do you offer financing? Can they use their health savings account or their flexible spending account? We offer the best financing in my opinion, up to 36 months interest free or low monthly payment plans. And of course, we do gladly accept medical spending accounts and health spending accounts. You just bring them in and we'll help you use those. All right, so we see it on the screen, but tell folks how much they can save. Up to $2,000, uh, we'd be depending on a prescription. Uh, we love helping your viewers out, Fiona. Um, they come in here and we'd like to have them a little bit educated, so we really enjoy helping them out. All right, Richard Doinoff, Operations Manager with Manrique Custom Vision. Thank you so much for your time. We greatly appreciate it. There's the information up on the screen. Call or text today to get up to $2,000 off your Z LASIK procedure at Manrique Custom Vision, depending on your prescription. Just call 210-354-2020. That's 210-354-2020. Or text LASIK to 45384 for an instant discount. For more, on Manrique Custom Vision, you can also visit the website, sa.manriquei.com. Oh Next on SA Live, you saw their limited edition Spurs products. Now see what else they're making in the San Antonio workshop, including some great gift ideas for Father's Day. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, earlier you saw the limited edition Spurs line of leather products created by Bear Goods. It's really cool looking. And whether you love the Spurs or not, they've got quality products that you might want to check out. Our Jen Tobias Drusky is back at the Bear Goods workshop checking out some gift ideas, maybe even for Father's Day, which is coming up. Hey there, Jen. Yeah, I, I say, like Guy said earlier, make them Father's Day gifts with the Spurs items. Why not? But I love the smell of leather, by the way. So we're here. So when you come here to the workshop, this is what you'll see where the magic happens. Right, Guy? That's right. This is Bear Goods. We fuse modern technology with old world craftsmanship, making handmade leather goods right here in San Antonio. Uh, we've got Bradley here hand stitching one of our wallets. That's what we pride ourselves on is the hand stitching technique. We, what we say here is our labor of love for your life of, of adventure. So let your leather goods yeah. tell your story yes. as they wear. And David is finishing off over there as well, right? So everybody has their craftsmanship that they put into this, right? Exactly. He's finishing up one of our uh, Spurs wallets, which we're doing our third uh, Spurs collection here. This is specific to the Fiesta colors, which is very exciting. And uh, it's perfect timing for Father's Day gifts as well. Yes. Right? Yes. And, and like you said, all the products that we saw earlier that were spurs colored with the Fiesta colors, you also have uh, you, the same kind of products that maybe are just like exactly. this one here. Exactly. But all made Classic love. leather Classic. colors. There exactly. Exactly. So Dom here is showing up one of our uh, wallets. Would you like to give it a try, sure. Jen? Sure. Yeah. All right, Dom. Let me let you step away here, Jen. So I know you uh, <laughs> You already have this technique I down, right? Because so, the last thing you want to do <laughs> is mess Left this up. in. <laughs> Left in. Right, right in. in. And then you pull it. And then pull. So this is really what separates our products uh, apart is that it's hand-stitched leather goods. Oh my gosh, don't mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are watching me. Okay, so left, and then I'll do one more, and then right. And then, so you take pride in this craftsmanship, would you say? I mean, it's all made right here in San We Antonio. do. We've been doing this Did for do this about right? the last oh 10 years. <laughs> I think so. There we go. 
All right. All right. When you take back over, Tom. Beautiful. And everybody's doing their part in here. Um, so Father's Day, like you told me, you can get the Spurs items, but these are just, these are great gifts. The quality that you guys put into these, right? Definitely, yeah. All year long, really. Definitely. So we make leather satchels. Uh, we make uh, watch straps. Um, any really uh, small leather accessory, we pride ourselves on uh, wallets, you know, mm -hmm. stuff that uh, you can you can use every day and that tells your story. Yes. Um, and it's all available for purchase online, okay. beargoods.com. So, Beargoods.com. Yeah. And we have all the information on salive.com. You can see the love that goes in to all the products here. And I love the Spurs representing third time, you said, right? Third the time, yeah. Third time's oh, awesome. a charm. Go Spurs, go. You want to say it with right. me as we toss back? All right. Go, go Spurs, Spurs go. go. Back to you guys. Yes, go Spurs, go. Of course. Taking on the Grizzlies tonight and nothing like something handmade mm -hmm. like that. And right. it's going gonna, it's gonna to last a lifetime. Yep. All right. Next on the show. It's a simple recipe with one special twist. Check out the secret ingredient this award-winning chef is using to take this classic dish to the next level. Keep it here on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this local chef is all about making mealtime easy. She's the author of Latin Twist and the Tex-Mex Slow Cooker. She was also named Cook of the Year in 2020 by Southern Living Magazine. And her recipes are so fantastic, so simple. Chef VNA Rodriguez is back with a secret ingredient for taking delicious tostada recipe to the next level. Watch this. Hola, 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 Vianney Rodriguez here from SweetLifeBake.com and today I'm excited to share with you a delicious tostada featuring one of my favorite quesos that is sure to be a hit with your family. Let's get cooking. For this recipe, you're gonna need uh, chorizo con papas and these are simply parboiled uh, papas that I cooked and then I mix them in with cooked chorizo. These are refried beans that I had left over from last night's dinner. To top our tostadas, we're gonna use salsa verde, uh, sliced radishes, but you can use anything you want. We're gonna need tostada shells. I just bought these at the Mexican grocery store. So we're gonna feature one of my favorite quesos. This is queso Oaxaca. And when you go and you buy it at your uh, grocery store, you're gonna find it like this. It's wound up in a little ball and it is perfect for quesadillas, for tostadas, and um, I love it because it melts beautifully, and you'll just simply take it apart like this, and it'll come off in strands. It's perfect for these tostadas because we're gonna bake them just for a few minutes, and we're gonna let the queso Oaxaca get nice and melty over them. So I'm just gonna tear it apart with my fingers, super easy, and there you go. So now I'm gonna show you how to put these tostadas together. To make the tostada, I'm gonna grab my tostada shell and I'm just going to add a layer of refried beans. Then I'm gonna to top it with the chorizo and papas. I'm gonna to top it with the queso Oaxaca and it's gonna get nice and melty and just give you that really nice punch of flavor. Okay, so there we go. So I'm adding the last of my Oaxaca cheese over my tostadas. So super simple dinner idea. We have tostada shells, we have refried beans, we have chorizo con papa, and then I'm topping them all with Oaxaca cheese that I've just taken apart with my fingers. Then I'm gonna pop these babies into the oven. We just want the cheese to melt and then we're gonna serve them. Okay, so I've popped these into the oven just a few minutes. You just want the Oaxaca cheese to get nice and uh, melty. So then we're gonna serve it. And I'm just gonna pop one of these tostadas on a plate. I'm gonna top it with some salsa verde. And there you have it, a delicious tostada topped with one of my favorite cheeses, the Oaxaca cheese. Um, I hope you give it a try. Are you hungry yet? Yeah, for more recipes from VNA Rodriguez, go to our website, salive.com. And how you can make this your dream home. Wait till you see these kitchens. It's ahead on SA Live.
like to take a dream vacation in your own home. You'll have that feeling at this beautiful home in the Bell Oaks neighborhood in Bulverde, and you can tour it starting this weekend on the 2021 Parade of Homes. I'm out here at Ainsley Forest in Bell Oaks with the builders, Jill and Gary Bourne, owner of Born Homes. That just sounds so cool, right? Who, who never built the same home twice. Good afternoon. Good Good afternoon. afternoon. This is incredibly beautiful. Thank you. I mean, you guys, I, I, you guys have outdone yourselves here. So Jill, yes. tell us about this home. What was the inspiration for the design? So the inspiration for this home is everything home and family. Um, the interior, has a lot of old pieces. So this house was built on a ranch um, that was here long before we were, and we really wanted the house to look like it was part of the ranch, the original ranch. So um, there's a lot of curated pieces that we've collected over time um, to stage the house. And it's just, when you walk in, you wanna feel like it's been here for a while. And so what do you want folks to take away after visiting this home? So when people walk in, we're really hoping to create a sense of nostalgia. Um, you know, it's that like missing piece. And when they walk away, we want them to just like want more home. So, you know, where people can travel around the world, we want people to want to travel home. Okay, Gary, what unique features sets this home apart? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with some of the pieces that we've got in the house, right? We've got these hand-hewn beams all throughout the home. We've got some rustic antique doors um, and something that we really like to see is the outdoor living space. It's super important. We wanna make home feel like a vacation destination. And the prep kitchen, in addition to the kitchen, right? I mean, my daughter's a baker. My family loves to cook. Christmas is big for us. Um, and so we wanted to have a space where, hey, Christmas music can go all day long. Football can be going on a big TV, so that way everybody's got their own space. And there's a mother-in-law suite to boot, right? Well, absolutely. We wanted to make sure that we had a multi-generational home. So there's a living room, a full kitchen, they've got their bedroom, uh, and a full bath. It comes with the fireplace and everything. So gotta take care of mama. Nothing's too good for mama, right? No, nothing's too good for my mama. No. <laughs> okay. So we mentioned earlier, you never build the same home twice. Why is that? Well, we feel that each client's got their own story to tell and building the same home twice doesn't allow them to tell their individual story. So this gives them a chance to really put their spin on it and make it theirs. With us is Christy Sutterfield, Executive Vice President of the Greater San Antonio Builders Association. And this year's Parade of Homes, of course, not possible without the sponsors, right? You bet. We are so grateful to CPS Energy, Hollywood Crawford Garage Doors and Openers, MG Building Supplies, and North Park Family Dealerships. You'll be able to see the Lincolns, the Lexuses, the Mazdas when you come out to see these 10 gorgeous homes. The 2021 Parade of Homes features 10 builders in Bell Oaks and runs May 22nd through May 31st. It's presented by the Greater San Antonio Builders Association in partnership with CPS Energy, Hollywood Crawford, Garage Doors and Openers, MG Building Materials, and North Park Family of Dealerships. For more information, visit sabuilders.com or download the Greater San Antonio Parade of Homes app free for iPhone and Android. Tomorrow on SA Live, we're celebrating Asian Pacific Heritage Month with recipes from a local Filipino deli. Plus, Oscar and Golden Globe nominated actor Andy Garcia dishes out the details on his newest role in ABC's hit show Rebel. That's tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you, what do you prefer? The silver and black or Fiesta colors for the Spurs? And Raul says, Fiesta colors all day, every day. Interesting, Fiesta colors? Yep. Oh, but not those short shorts. Oh, come on, Nancy. <laughs> they were classic. Rudy says, the original silver and black. Seen the old video of those guys? Hey, good luck tonight against yes. the Grizzlies.